Welcome back to GB Guns. Back from the range with the Langdon Tactical Elite 92 LTT, which, uh, spoiler alert, it has indeed changed my opinion of uh, the Breda series. You know, we had the 92 FS in the Army. I wasn't particularly a huge fan of it, uh, but uh, I do freely admit that that's mostly because of uh, the Army's poor maintenance standards on it. Uh, you know, recoil springs being used well too long, things like that. Um, this is totally different, uh, and this is a professionally built custom gun, not a 20 plus year old uh, service gun. So, uh, gotta say, loved it. Thing shot amazingly. I'm going to uh, clean this thing up and let you guys watch the footage and see how it did with full mag plus one a special 13 load what's for dinner test and then uh, of course five shots at seven yards and Maddie also gives her opinion of the gun starting off the Langdon Tactical with our full mag plus one there's our one decock for safety throw in the full mag we got a piece of steel 25 30 yards out there to aim at just want to see how the gun runs with that full magazine load and through the load process these are bread of magazines so I would expect reliability Thanks to our Patreon supporters, the What's for Dinner test is growing. We've got 13 different loads we're going to try this time. The intent, of course, is to see how each load functions in the gun. We'll shoot three rounds of each, looking for does, does it chamber off of slide lock? Does the round generate enough energy to cycle the gun once more? Then a bonus round, just for the heck of it, so a total of three shots from each load. I'll let you see what's here. We've got a mix of hollow points, flat nose, round nose, steel, brass, aluminum, and zinc plated cases. Let's see how the guns do. All right, the Langdon Tactical Elite 92 LTT starting off with our heaviest load, 165 grain subsonic. Of course, it's intended for suppressors, but I like to see what runs. Big old fat bullet. We've got a piece of steel about 25, 30 yards out there, just so I got something to aim at. Man, as a slow bullet, you could hear the delay between the shot and the hit in the steel. We didn't get slide lock there. That was my thumb resting on the slide release. Happens on some gun models. It's just a grip thing. I'll work on fixing that for the rest of the loads. Next is American Eagle 147 grain. This is a snubby nose subsonic load. See how the snub nose long bullet chamber. And once again, I had my thumb on the slide release. Dang it. <laughs> All right, Federal American Eagle suppressor line. This is a 124 grain subsonic. Uh, obviously, since we know it's not a heavy bullet slowing it down, it's going to be less powder charge. See how it cycles in the LTT. Thumb off the slide release. That was a soft shooter, but it cycled just fine and knocked the slide back. American Eagle suppressor line. This is a 124 grain subsonic uh, round nose. So we know that they're not using bullet weight to slow down the round, just a softer charge. Let's see if it's enough to run this gun. I'm gonna do my best to keep the thumb off that release. It runs. Now moving on to steel case, 115 grain, tool ammo. Uh, why you'd want to run steel in a gun this fine, not sure, but in case you had to, it's good to know if it works. Runs. By viewer request, Federal's 115 grain aluminum. Remember, aluminum expands a little more than brass, and so sometimes in a tight chamber or in an unsupported chamber, you can run into issues. Um, 
Spears Gold Dot, 115 grain hollow point. This has got the nice nickel plated casing on it. Now into our light for caliber loads, we got Fiocchi's Centerfire loaded, 100 grain. This is a snub nosed frangible round. By a viewer request, 100 grain heavy shot. This is a frangible load, uh, actually out of Oregon here. Snub nosed. Real gentle shooting, but it works. Hornady's Critical Defense Light, 100 grain. Uh, this is what started all of the What's for Dinner tests because it's so short and snubby, almost looks like a lightweight 380 round, but it is 9mm. Chambered the first. Runs. Getting really light, the 94 grain Super Matrix from Gecko. This is one of those compressed copper composite mix kind of bullets that makes the pretty colors on steel. and smells funny when it burns, but it ran. Even lighter now, Winchester Super Grain, 90 grain. This is a zinc core bullet. Liberty Civil Trainer, 65 grain, said to be moving at 710 feet per second. Uh, hopefully the mic picks it up, but you can really hear this stuff crack. ran. All right, now the Inceptor RMP, um, 65 grain, now 1650 feet per second, which I believe is faster than they used to be. Um, this also is a pointed shape versus the rounded shape. Previously, this was a round that gave people some trouble. Let's see how it does. It runs. All right, Langdon Tactical, nine millimeter. I, uh, I really like this gun. From the moment I picked it up, it's not too heavy. It's not overbearing in my hand. It has a smooth slide. Uh, it has a nice decocking button also, which is a really big plus for me. I'm a big fan of decocking buttons. Uh, but what I love most about this firearm was actually the sights. Super easy to see, even out here in the sun. Uh, made it a lot easier to put it right on target. Recoil. Totally manageable, even for me. Um, and the trigger reset was nice. So all in all, pretty good gun. Now for five shots from seven yards using Nosler 124 grain match. Shooter error, that was mine. So what did you think? I tell you, I hope that Breda appreciates what Langdon Tactical has done here because uh, this gun, man, totally changed my opinion on this 92 series. Awesome, awesome shooter. Very flat shooter, very comfortable to shoot. Uh, enough weight to keep recoil reasonable, but certainly lightweight feeling in the hand with these slimmer grips made a huge difference and those sights as maddie pointed out are excellent that uh, red fiber optic really grabs your attention and the notch being a little wide or, or rather the front sight post being so narrow really lets you get precise um, i embarrassed myself with that group because those first three shots were awesome and then uh, you know as what happens you get a little confident and then uh, you start making errors but uh, none of the guns fault whatsoever and i don't reshoot groups so what you saw is uh well what happened but 
Incredible gun, great job landing tactical. This has revolutionized the Breda 92 in my mind. And uh, I'm curious, They uh, Langdon also does a Storm model. Be curious to see how that is. I've never experienced the Storm in any form, so a tuned up one might not be a bad way to start. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.